and welcome back everybody to another beautiful weekend in my garage fixing stuff <laughs> wanted to be working on the scooter today but an issue came up so I have to fix it this weekend and that is the tire pressure monitoring system on my Ford Escape you might have seen other videos I'll put the links up at the top as always I had issues with it the sensor fault kept coming on the you know the code the light on the dash at first I tried resetting it that fixed it for a while I did the um, diagnostics where I removed any interfering products like uh, car, um, you know, the chargers for phones. That fixed it for a while. But then this last week, it came on again. And I am tired of doing these small fixes just to get through a couple weeks, so I am going to replace the sensor. I'm guessing the battery is going dead on them or on one of them. I need to find which one it is and replace it all in my garage. So. I got one of the little trainer learner system little keypad things for the sensors. So what I'm going to do is go around, check each tire, find which one is the failing one, and replace it. So let's get to it. Alright, so now that the tire is off, I'm going to need a flat in it because I'm going to need to break the seal just on the top side. I'm not going to break the seal on the bottom side. So I can reach in here, disconnect this sensor, put the new one on, reseal it, or rebeat it and be done with this. So I need to flatten it first off. I'm gonna have my little valve core tool right here. And that's gonna allow me to take out this valve core. I don't wanna lose it. Now that the air is out, I need to break this seal. So I'm going to try a couple different methods. I'm going to stand on it, see if I can loosen it up. I got a pry bar. Alright, after a lot of fighting, a little bit of pride, I was able to break the seal. So now, I'm able to get access to the sensor. So first things first, I need to get this old one out of there. So first things first, I need to get this old one out of there. Looks like it's not connected to the tire at all. It's just in there with a little plastic or the rubber piece. So I should be able to come down here. Get this bad boy out. Alright, so now that the sensor's loose, I'm pressing down on the wheel or the tire as much as possible. Then I pulled it up. Now that I got the sensor loose, I'm able to press down on the wheel as much as possible. Get this sensor cleared, but I don't want it to drop down. And I can pull it out. There we go. Whew. Took some pulling. But that's the old one. Right here. Out. Now 
Now the new one is going to go in in the same exact order. I'll put it flush like that. This part's going to go against the tire or the inside of the rim. This part's going to go underneath and then it pulls up. But I'm going to grease this up with some silicone paste I think. So when I pull it through it will be nice and easy. And now the same order. Press down on this tire as much as possible. Get enough clearance. Or even try going this way and then rotate it. There we go. I'll need to spin it. And then this is just going to pop right through. I'll use my gauge as something to thread onto. Oh, this doesn't have threads. And last but not least, but thankfully, the tire gets put back on. Man, oh man, was this a project. This was pretty difficult to do it in the garage, I would say that. But it was a good experience, good learning experience. That's part of working out in the garage is learning how to do things. And man, oh man, I did learn a lot. So would I say it was worth it doing it? I think so. I mean... I went around, got some quotes, just to take the easy way out. And yeah, it was a couple hundred dollars compared to, man, I think it was about $30, $40 for the sensor. And then about another $30 for the actual, that um, tool, the um, learning tool, and also detector tool, I guess you can call it. Because that's how I found the sensor that was giving me the issue. So 70 bucks to do it myself, 150 bucks to get it done by a shop I think it was worth it especially now I have the tool in case I have another issue with it oh man I could knock that stuff out real quick and I have the tool already and it's for all motorcraft or Ford vehicles so I have another vehicle I can always use it also so in the end I think it's actually worth it but you can always take that easy way out if you want to it would be a lot easier like I said it was a struggle and a lot of muscle it took to get that off and you might see my other video don't forget to torque your lug nuts but I'm gonna do that once I lay it, lay it to the ground and actually put the you know the weight on the wheel so with that as always thank you very much for watching it was it was a hell of a day but I got through the project then I got it done and with that as always thank you very much for watching like subscribe comment I appreciate all of it um, if you want to donate to the channel, because all this stuff I do on my own, pay for it by myself. So I do always have a link to a PayPal for myself. It's a donation. You can do whatever you want online. I appreciate it. I'm getting Patreon up and running. So if you want to join me over there, you'll get instant access to um, videos before they're published. You'll be able to maybe suggest a video. I'm working on that. And I'll also put you at the end of the videos as a special thanks for people contributing to the channel. So as always... Ride safe, drive safe, and keep at least two wheels on the road.